Right, uh, video blog follow up on the cobweb 2E0 VOV and uh, as you can see it's uh, still holding good up there hopefully I can hold the camera steady enough you'll be able to see how resilient it is to the winds that are flying around I'm sure you can see from the trees it's, um, it's quite a rough day we had 90 mile an hour winds uh, a couple of days ago which took a few ridge tiles off the house um, damage the fence but the 40 pound cobweb stands strong um, obviously it will get a bit of a move on with this much wind but um, it really doesn't move a lot it's mainly in the pole which is a genuine scaffold pole and aluminium scaffold pole I should say and he's standing about 10 meters above the ground so it's above roof height of the house and um, as you know it's built on um, squid poles or um, roach poles fishing rods whatever you want to call them so I mean it's built on very cheap materials uh, it's done a couple of years by now uh, and resisted everything the weather's thrown at it to date uh, so if anybody's wondering about budget um, and whether to invest into heavier alum uh, aluminium well, what about fiberglass uh, spreader arms well I can tell you now that these are done fine I've not seen any faults yet uh, and obviously there's a few spec uh, photos of spec on uh, QRZ um, Oh, it's a very impressive little antenna. I mean, it performs well and it certainly resists the weather. I've never had any doubts about taking it down for bad weather. And that's proven itself worth every penny. So, uh, anyway, hopefully that gives somebody a, a clue as to what they look to do in the future if they're building one and uh, what to buy and what not. Anyway, so, wishing you 73s on a windy day. I'm struggling with the camera still. So, uh, that's it from me, 73s from 2E0 VOV. Till the next time. Bye bye.